This is a patient who came with some vague abdominal pain, some weight loss, and so we're really looking for some malignancy to account for some of those symptoms. And you know, this is a tough case. Uh, you know, if you look at all the organs themselves and the abdomen, the spleen, kidneys, adrenals, pank, gallbladder, liver, pretty much look within normal limits. Uh, you know, there's a hiatal hernia, small hiatal hernia. The stomach looks reasonably okay. There's no uh, adenopathy. You scroll downwards. The bladder is reasonably distended. Looks okay. And you know, if you just go to organ by organ, the things look pretty reasonable here. If you look at the bowel, there's no bowel obstruction. There's a little bit of stool throughout the colon. And uh, so one could look at this and, and call it reasonably within normal limits. However, there's a very subtle finding that ended up being a neoplasm in this case, which is why I want to share it. If you look at the uh, ascending colon over here, this is stool. This is the bowel wall. looks pretty thin as you scroll upwards. There is a region of soft tissue thickening in that cecal area, the ascending colon, very subtle. And one could certainly look at that and think that it's peristalsis and just uh, you know, some muscle contraction over there. If we look at the coronal CT images, we can see you know that area is right over there. It looks subtly thickened, almost like an apricore lesion. And it's tough because there's no real adenopathy adjacent to it. They you know, usually look for prominent or slightly enlarged lymph nodes adjacent to areas of colonic thickening to be worried about neoplasm, and that's not really present in this instance. Regardless, this area of thickening in the cecum proximally ascending colon ended up being a colonic neoplasm.